Hello everyone, welcome to Shining 3D's intro scanning course. For indentureless patients, it is always a challenge to record their occlusion correctly in dental working practice. Now with the new removable denture workflow provided by our latest software, it's never a problem anymore. To make sure you can start enjoying this workflow, please first update your software to the latest version, 3413. Only from this version, this amazing workflow is available. The new removable denture workflow is prized for its impressive accuracy and outstanding efficiency. Thanks to an uh, optimized algorithm, simplify the scanning process for indentureless cases. Now, let me demonstrate this process to you and sharing some useful tips for smoother scanning experience. We can start the process by creating new order, type in basic information, select the remove dentures. We provide three methods for users to record a bite, including nature teeth, by rim, and old denture. In this video, we will first talk about the old denture scanning workflow, then discuss the bite rim scanning workflow. Now we enter the scanning step. There are five steps in the workflow bar. Just follow it before starting remove old denture from the patient. Then scan the upper jaw. This is a video on the left part of the software to show the recommended scan trajectory. Now we will scan the upper jaw. Start by scanning from the plantar side of the anterior teeth progressing to the linguist side of the posterior area on one side. Subsequently, scan the buccal side of this posterior area, anterior teeth, and the offset posterior teeth. Then continue scanning of the linguist side of that offset posterior area, concluding with a final scan of the remaining parenteral part, following a zigzag trajectory. In summary, you can scan in this order. The second step is to scan the lower jaw following the guidance of the instructive video in the software. Start from the occlusion surface of one posterior area, move to the anterior area, and scan buccal and linguist sides back and forth. Then proceed to the occlusion surface of the opposite posterior area, followed by scanning the linguist side. Finally, scan the buccal side. Here is the scan path for your reference. The third step is to scan the upper jaw of the old denture following the guidance on the software as well. First, start with scanning the occlusion plan and capture the occlusion surface of the posterior area. Then slowly move to the anterior area and uh, alternately scan both the buccal and the linguist sides. Next, move to the offset side of the posterior area and scan the linguist side of the occlusal plan before scanning its buccal side. After that, flip over the upper jaw denture and scan its tissue plan. Scan its inner side of the occlusion surface first, then proceed to scan its anterior area before finishing with the palatine part. To summary, you can follow this scan path. After scanning, the old denture's upper jaw will automatically align with the previous scanned indenture data. Check the result before moving to the next step. If the alignment is not accurate, you can manually align it by selecting the three separate points on both the upper jaw and the old denture, ensuring that these points do not form a straight line. The four steps is to scan the lower jaw of the old denture. Following the exact same scanning path as that used for upper jaw of the old denture, you can follow the guidance on the software. You can follow this scan path. After that, the old denture will align with indenture's lower jaw automatically. The last step is occlusion scan. Put the old denture back to the patient's mouth and scan the bite. Now we have finished the entire workflow of scanning removable dentures with the old denture recorded as occlusion information. 
Let's focus on the byte scan workflow. Create order, select byte ream. After scanning the indentures upper and the lower jaw, which we use physical model for demonstration. The third step is to scan the byte ream. We provide a scanning pass in the software for your reference as well. Please check it before you start scanning. Let's commence the scanning process with tissue surface of the upper byte ream. Begin by scanning the palatine raggy area, then transaction gradually to the left and right alveolar ridges. Capture data in the hard palatine using a zigzag scanning pass. Extend the scanning trajectory from the end of the alveolar ridge to the front surface of the bite ring. Through the connection of the upper and the lower bite ring, progressively extend the scanning track to the lower bite ring, scanning its tissue surface. Zigzag scanning is used to acquire alveolar ridge data on the tissue surface of the lower bite ring. Transfer the scan trajectory to the front of the lower bite rim at the opposite end of the alveolar ridges. And once again, extend the scanning tra track back to the front side of the upper bite rim through the connection of the upper and the lower bite rim. Completing the seamless data splicing of the upper and the lower bite rim. In conclusion, you can follow this scanning path I hope this video can be helpful. Try it yourself. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us.